All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the next installment of Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Uh, today, we're continuing our discussion uh, about the overhead panel, moving down to the next uh, little portion there that we're going to talk about. Um, this panel here, I'll bring up the slide. Once again, on the overhead, um, we're talking about uh, this cockpit door control panel right here. Uh, once again, this is a panel um, that's kind of out of reach, out of sight, out of mind. Um, you're never really looking up there uh, under normal circumstances. The only reason this, this panel is here really is to alert you to a, a problem uh, that might be occurring with the cockpit door uh, controls themselves. Uh, so um, it's really interesting. A lot of you know these big aircraft like this, uh, the cockpit doors are actually kind of you know complex in nature in and of themselves. They're they're kind of um, you know they have some uh, electromechanical uh, functionalities built built into them and like a, a monitoring system in this case to kind of let you know the status of that system. Uh, so just um, talking a little bit about um, what this stuff means up here. Um, basically. Um, these three guys right here and these two guys right here, all there are is lights. And uh, their only purpose is uh, there to, um, they're there to serve the purpose of alerting you if there's some sort of fault uh, within the system. So when everything is operating normally, lights are out, no problem. Uh, no lights will be on, but if the system detected a fault, the light would come on and it would let you know that. So um, on the left-hand side here, what this is talking about, strike, um, that's talking about the strikers on the door. Um, and uh, just to bring up the schematic from the, uh, the flight manuals, um, what we're talking about here whoops, um, is uh, these three guys right here. So the, the locking strikes are just the little pieces of metal that, um, once again, electromechanically um, are operated to you know, slide up or down, uh, which is you know, physically accomplishing the, uh, the job of uh, locking the door, essentially. So this is what we're talking about, um, the, the locking strikes, as we said. And um, once again, those lights are just there to let you know if for some reason, you know, maybe one of these was jammed or there was a, a problem sending the signal to them to do their job or maybe they're out of position to where the system thinks it should be, um, that fault light would come on and let you know that. Um, the other um, side there, um, oops, bring up this slide again here. Um, this uh, is uh, kind of an interesting uh, portion of the system that I don't think really a lot of people think about or, or much less even know about, but um, this channel one and channel two here, uh, what this has to do with is actually uh, monitoring the pressure inside the flight deck, uh, interestingly enough. And um, these two little black holes right here are actually um, independent, um, redundant uh, pressure monitoring um, you know, little little openings here to, to basically let the airplane know, you know, hey, what's the pressure on the inside of the flight deck doing? And the reason why that needs to be monitored uh, is because you, you might have a situation where the uh, pressure is actually different inside the flight deck than it is outside the flight deck. So you could have a, you know, a, um, you know maybe a high pressure, you know, in the cabin. And let's say for some reason, if um, maybe there was a leak in one of the, uh, the flight deck windows or something like that that would cause a loss of pressure in there. You, you have this differential situation where there's you know, pressure on one side, uh, not pressure um, on the other side. And um, you know, this is just something that obviously needs to be relieved. You, know, you need to have an equal pressure throughout the entirety of the, uh, the, the pressure vessel itself. So you can't have this division by way of the door um, between those two areas of the aircraft. So um, these two monitors um, or, or the, um, the sensing apparatus here, these, these sensing holes in the, the, the channel one and two um, is just kind of like the, the radio signals that monitor what these sensors are picking up. Um, if it detects a, uh, a low pressure situation in the cockpit, it's supposed to trigger the, uh, the door strikes to uh, then in turn open up and, and uh, uh, essentially relieve the, the pressure between those areas, um, like we said, uh, from the inside of the cockpit to the outside of the cockpit. So. Um, that is um, what all this stuff is here for, and um, I could show you a picture. Uh, once again, I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but just what it would look like uh, if those uh, lights were to come on, um, just uh, to show you what that looks like when they're illuminated here. Um, it would look something like that. So, um, once again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it.